a beautiful Monday, isn't it? It's been a, a, I want to have a name for the weekend that just passed. It's been an interesting weekend. Maybe I should just summarize it as that. It was a back-to-back -back event. We had Hit It From Rep Your Jersey, which was a very, very successful event. And then there was the TGMAs that we'll be discussing later during the show. And of course, there's been highs and there's been lows. But for me, the artist of the year does deserve to be the artist of the year. So congratulations to you, Stone Boy, and your team. Congratulations to Nasi and the team as well for becoming the gospel artist of the year and also winning the gospel song of the year. And to all others who won as well, congratulations to all of you. I had a question. Do you think that this one was bias? And I said, no. I don't know where the bias is. I think that they all worked so hard. Congratulations to Kwame Eugene and team as well for picking two awards. I know Kitty picked one award, Kim Paluta picked an award, Abrado picked an award. And so congratulations to every single one of you that picked awards on that night. It's a new beginning for you. So it means that you ought to challenge yourselves to become a better and even bigger this year. Well, Queen Delane also picked the award for the best female vocalist, and Kofi Kakari picked the award for the best male vocalist. Kudos to all of you. Kudos to uh, Kim Promise and his team as well for picking all the awards that you did pick. Terminator was a huge one. So most popular song for Terminator, very well deserved. Congratulations to everybody. And uh, Bernard Mona is seated here, but this segment is proudly brought to you by Franco Trading Enterprise. Do not forget to go to Franco Trading Enterprise for all your gadgets. Is it mobile phones that you are looking for? Is it television sets you're looking for? Is it uh, CCTV cameras, computers, all that you're looking for with regards to gadgets? Now, they have it and even more. You can actually download the app on your phone, which is Franco Trading app. Just download it on your phone or you can visit our website www.francotradingenterprise.com. Franco Trading Enterprise, still for Papa Pafi. Now, on this weekend, that's the weekend that is coming, not the one that's passed, we have our grand finale for Big Chef Cooking Competition. And of course, our finalists will be cooking for one to emerge as the winner. Who is your favorite? There are six contestants. And only one can emerge as the winner. It's happening on the 9th of this very month, 9th of June. And it's at the forecourt of Joy FM. So when you get to Joy FM, you see a big forecourt. That's where it's happening. That's where the children will be cooking. And I love to see what they cook all the time. So I know this time around, they are definitely bringing their A game on. If you have not voted for your favorite to win, please and please and please again. You have one week. You have about what, six days because I can't even count Sunday as part of it. You have about six days to vote. Pick up your phones, vote for your favorites to emerge as the season three winner for Big Chef Cooking Competition. These children, they are something else. They are just geniuses. And of course, we cannot wait to see what they have for us in the kitchen. Ah, let me not talk too much. Let me just tell you that today is definitely going to be a great one. Like we always do, please send in your messages to us and we will read it live on air. We love to hear from you because we know that as citizens, you are not just being spectators, but you are actually practicing citizenship, right? I know over the weekend, some people were complaining about doom, so others were complaining about the rains and all of that. Well, today, our conversation is still on the ambulance saga. Let me introduce my guest to you. I will talk about the ambulance saga. And also, we'll talk about the MPP's <coughs> running mate. Who will become the running mate for the MPP? My guest for this morning, I know one is still on his way coming. And so I'll introduce only two to you. I told you earlier that Bernard Bonner is here. Good morning, Bernard. Good morning. How are you? I'm tired. I can see. Totally fatigued. Yeah. But that is fatigue, but the show still goes on. And Dr. <laughs> Sharif Khalid, uh, who is representing the MPP, is also here. Good morning, oh, Doc. Not the MPP, the NDC. Uh, the NDC. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I, I was actually shocked. I'm, I'm shocked myself. My goodness. Please. Uh, I'm trying to check with the colors as well. <laughs> oh, no, it, it has nothing to do with that. He actually is wearing something to do with Andy. So, yeah, I don't know yeah, so. why I did that. Please forgive me. Uh, you're not, probably you're not experiencing the difficulties and uh, no, issues economy I think, that we I are in. What it is that probably I have a lot of questions for the MPP. So All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll... Yes. 
Uh, so, welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, I can understand why. I'm surprised to see my brother in studio today because there's a series of funerals yeah. uh, in our region and uh, a whole lot. I mean, from the Upper East region all the way to the Upper West region. So, I wasn't expecting him. Okay. Yeah, so. Bernard works very hard. And because Bernard... I only returned this, uh, yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, you were there for the funerals as well? As well, yeah. But he's much more of a bigger man mm. than I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, I expected him to stay. Talking about that, I yeah. think that Bernard should tell us a bit about some of the funerals that happened mm. over the weekend there. Well, first, um, greetings to Sharif and mm. to yourself. And I'm sure that the Honorable Lato, who is not here, um, will be listening or watching via Facebook even as he comes. Exactly on 7th December, when the MPP members will be going to the polls, the EC might have closed the polls. Because it's becoming one too many that they come for programs late. <laughs> so on the day of elections, I'm also praying that they will come to the booths when the votes are over, so that we'll be able to declare a winner without any difficulty. <clears throat> that said, over about four or five months ago, the students of public policy in the University for Business and Integrated Development Studies, UBIS, put a lot of pressure for me to honor them mm -hmm. on one of their, I think it's their second edition of their, their Associations Week. And so I had to be there. In going there, I also had to be in the Upper West region to honor the memory of our late brother and entrepreneur. Sheriff, you are over concentrating on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> to honor the memory of our late brother, Eric Johnson. Uh, it was a sad event, but again, you take it. Because if you go to the Upper West region and you see one of the most significant monumental investment that everybody cannot gloss over, it is that of the Royal Corsi Hotel, affectionately called the Jrepa Dubai. And it was put up by Eric Johnson. I have no doubt whatsoever that Eric Johnson is not even breaking even. But because of the vision he has, he still sinks a lot of money to ensure that the project gets going. Mm -hmm. Aside just being a hotel with grandeur, um, and facilities, mm -hmm. you also note that he had a wildlife park and many other additions that you will scarcely find. In most places you go across the world, you go to a hotel, then the hotel will take you to the games park and what have you. But this is a hotel when you go, you don't go to a games park. You, the games park is within, so you have access to go around, have a tour to see the lions, to see the antelopes, to see those other wild animals, to see the water, the natural water, and what have you. And so it's amazing mm -hmm. that in the end, this man was killed in such a shabby manner. Mm -hmm. And the funeral was very, uh, what should I say? It was very, very emotional. emotional. And so what I did at that place was to just walk around, and particularly when I saw the cops so disfigured, it doesn't look like him. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Not at all. There is no resemblance with the Eric I know. No resemblance whatsoever. And I felt so broken. I mean, <laughs> so if you... For me, I, I, I actually told people that, look, this is not Eric. Uh, is that him? Yeah. There's no resemblance whatsoever. Zero resemblance. And so I just told my team that, no, I suspect this probably could be a different person. person because 
not a trace of resemblance. Wow. You know, but that, then later I was told by the media that there is a request to the courts that the trial of the case should be moved from the Upper West Region to the Ashanti Region. And this appeal is done by the mother of the main suspect. And I'm like, that alone will constitute travesty of justice. See, a lot of people just, not that by getting justice, Eric will come back to life. But people just want to see and hear directly from the accused the motivation for doing such a dastardly act. <clears throat> so any court that will want to transfer the case from Wa to, to, to um, Kumasi hmm. will be doing a great disservice to the emotions, to the sensibilities of the people. Yeah. And I think that that should not be contemplated in any way. Because the life of the accused cannot be said to be at risk. The police know their duty very well. In any case, you killed, and you are worried about your life. Well, until found guilty. You know, I mean, there are things that you don't need to, there are things that you don't need. This is a man who, in his own admittance without coercion, I mean, the evidence of the bayonet or knife he has used, the struggles, I mean, the evidence is clear, cutting he himself. His girlfriend came out. But we are not concluding that. The, my, my point is that there may be other collaborators. Right. And so we want to sit and listen and watch and to see okay. why this, 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 this happened. And I, so Sharif, I, I also came back very late in the night. Mm -hmm. And you can feel it from my voice. Yeah. You sound Madam, very tired. I have been anyway. very fatigued. You know. <laughs> May his soul rest in peace. And of course, we pray that justice will be served. Let me welcome our MP rep here. That is in the person of Thank Honorable you. Francis Kingsley Kujo. And uh, Honorable, welcome. Thank you very much. How are you today? Um, tired, yes. I, I know, right? Uh, but uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't notified early. Oh, sorry. I went for my uncle's funeral. We organized our uncle's funeral this mm -hmm. weekend. So today we're supposed to even have a family meeting, but once I saw it, um, I had to try and come. So I got to Accra almost 1 a.m. Wow. Uh, so I had to do a little. I can imagine yeah. how tired. It looks like my what, whole what, panel what, what, is tired. 1 a.m. is a good time. Even when he's in Accra, 1 a.m., he's not sleeping. That's what I can't say. And so how many hours do I have to sleep to <laughs> No, but I know you don't sleep in that one way. The headlines, uh, <laughs> uh, the news should I say? and then we can delve into our topic this morning. Sheriff I'll start not, off with the... Sheriff the must talk about Upper West, he even will. though he didn't come there. Uh, oh, but he said he was Oh, there. I was uh, everywhere. Yes, say you didn't spot me. Upper West, yes. he didn't come there. Let me quickly read the newspapers, and I'll start with the Republic I know, my satellite was on you. Bloodshed in Kaswa, how a Kumsin's son stabbed, three mm. others injured over voter exercise. Police in now began torting NDCPC at Kaswa of our court. Amidu attacks Bagwin again, calls out NDC over tax waiver <coughs> hypocrisy. AG clashes with Jackpa over corruption claims in ambulance case. And of course, we are delving into that topic. And also one dead, two injured in fatal crash at Ohene in Kwanta. The Daily Statesman newspaper is the next newspaper. Ochehene charges the privilege to support their rules. 52 million Ghana cities for student loans and UGs, that's NUCS, commends the government for release. Homoa clean up campaign underway and free dialysis for vulnerable groups. I'm wondering what will classify a vulnerable person because as much as we talk about this, we are hoping that we'll not hear things like, you know, you ought to have a card or you have, ought to be a card bearing member of a particular political party before you enjoy this benefit. I hope that it's served to all citizens. I'm just saying, I hope. I'm not saying that it will happen, but I'm saying that this is what we hope for. The New Finder newspaper, BOG posts 10.5 billion Ghana cities lost in 2023 due to mop-up of excess liquidity to reduce inflation. Electricity, water <laughs> tariffs, increased effective <coughs> July 1st, and of course, this is a big issue. Probably we will touch on it a little bit because, yes, your tariffs are going up again. And this time round is over 5%. Going up again.
again and again and again. Uh, I'll do the daily searchlight newspaper next. Uh, keeping Ghana African funds in foreign banks wrong, says Amin Adam. Violence at Kaswa EC office. How are Kumsin's son, three others injured? Nanakwe Kujabing, the second retained as the legitimate chief of Wasa Atieku after eight years of a legal battle. We we'll do the daily analyst next. The daily analyst, uh, sorry, the daily analyst. Uh, residents plan protests over Dumso. Kaswa chaos for injured as NPP and NDC clash as Howa Kumsin's son battles for his life. Mahama promises electric motorbikes for Okada riders uh, uh, for 2024 elections. Also, police clash with murdered soldiers' family in court. This video has been trending as well. And Gifti Afeni uh, Dazi, sorry, called to bar. Wow, congratulations to her. Huh? Yes, this is good. Um, she's quite old. You want to you want to read it? Yes. Yes. The one on dialysis. You want this one as well? The one on dialysis. The one on dialysis. I think Bernard has that no, one. That's one. Okay. The dialysis. All right. Um, we'll do the Ghanaian publisher newspaper yeah, next. Ambulance trial. AG tells court to dismiss accused persons. Application majority exposes minority <laughs> hypocrisy. Ochehene woos elite to return home in Ghana, ranked fifth best governed country in Africa. This is coming from the Ghanaian publisher. The next newspaper is the Ghanaian Times newspaper. Free dialysis session for persons below 18 and above 60, effective June to De June or is December because they're saying June to December. So, what is it? Effective June to December 2024. So it ends December 2024. So the free dialysis will end December 2024. Is yes. that what it is? Yes. yes. Mm. Wow. Um, hmm. Gamma and Chalit, massive homo no, cleanup campaign in Accra. If they have left power, then a new regime will now take over. Obviously, they cannot sustain this program because they have involved the country in in huge depths. Anyway, uh, electricity goes up by 3.45, 45.